In the vast and ever-evolving landscape of contemporary music, there exist unique voices that not only capture the essence of their time, but also transcend the boundaries of genres. Annie Clark, known to the world as St. Vincent, is undeniably one such artist. Over the course of the last decade, she has emerged as a captivating force in the indie music scene, enchanting audiences with her scintillating blend of theatricality, unpredictability, and an almost paradoxical glamour that seems at odds with the gritty reality of life on tour buses and in airport lounges. The Emergence of St. Vincent. Annie Clark's journey into the world of music began long before she adopted the persona of St. Vincent. Raised in the vibrant city of Dallas, Texas, her childhood was marked by a complex interplay of artistic curiosity and the shadow of chronic panic attacks. From the age of eight or nine until her late teens, anxiety colored every aspect of her life, providing a backdrop to her formative years. Despite the challenges, Annie found solace and expression in music. She picked up the guitar at a tender age, so young that the memory of learning to play is now a distant echo. Her family nicknamed her M.I.A., short for Missing in Action, as she spent countless hours alone in her bedroom, immersed in the world of music. Influenced by the likes of Hendrix, The Doors and various metal bands, Annie's early musical palette was a testament to her eclectic tastes. The Dallas Years and the quest for independence. Annie's adolescence in Dallas was a period of dreams and difficulties. She recalls feeling the need to escape, not because Dallas was inhospitable, but rather as a response to the internal struggles she faced. Panic attacks became the backdrop to her creative process, shaping the remarkable quality of her music. Her songs, with their unsettling shifts of mood and tempo, became a reflection of life's unpredictability. In retrospect, Annie expresses a tremendous fondness for her Dallas roots, and her family remains a constant presence in her life. However, the difficult teenage years prompted her to seek new horizons, eventually leading her to the decision to leave her hometown. The isolation and inspiration of Strange Mercy. Annie's evolution as an artist reached a significant milestone with the release of Strange Mercy, her third studio album. Recorded in complete isolation in a Seattle studio, the album became a testament to her dedication and introspection. For a month, she spoke to no one except the barista in the coffee shop she visited after her morning run. The creative process involved crafting a mood board akin to a fashion designer, pulling inspiration from diverse sources such as books, films, and family conversations. The haunting chorus line from her song, Surgeon, Best Finest Surgeon, Cut Me Open, drew inspiration from Marilyn Monroe's journal, offering a glimpse into Annie's eclectic sources of inspiration. St. Vincent's Theatricality and Musical Alchemy. St. Vincent's live performances are a spectacle of theatricality and musical alchemy. Annie's stage presence, characterized by almost manic energy, includes daring crowd dives and, in one memorable instance, a cover performance of punk metal band Big Black's Kerosene with such ferocity that it made her fingers bleed. Her ability to seamlessly transition between vulnerability and intensity is a hallmark of her live shows. The juxtaposition of a bird-like fragility and the face of an angel with a frenetic energy that borders on chaos adds layers of complexity to her artistry. The persona of St. Vincent. Performing under the moniker St. Vincent isn't merely a stage name for Annie. It's a conscious choice that reflects her desire to distance herself from folk singer stereotypes. In a candid moment, she shares, I just felt at the time, that the people who went by their own names were folk singers. I thought Annie Clarks would conjure up images of someone in floaty dresses with an acoustic guitar singing soft, sincere songs for coffee houses, and I was terrified of getting anywhere near that. The name Saint Vincent, derived from a line in the Nick Cave track, There She Goes, My Beautiful World, provided a shield against preconceived notions and allowed Annie the creative freedom to explore a diverse sonic palette. Collaborations and Love 
This giant. Annie's artistic journey expanded through collaborations, notably with David Byrne. Their collaborative effort, Love This Giant, centered around a 16-piece brass band, showcased a fusion of their distinct musical styles. In this chapter, we delve into the creative dynamics between Annie Clark and David Byrne, exploring how their collaboration brought a new dimension to St. Vincent's musical repertoire. The Road to Mainstream Recognition as St. Vincent teeters on the edge of mainstream recognition, we explore the delicate balance between cult admiration and the allure of broader acclaim. The collaboration with David Byrne and St. Vincent's regular appearances on late-night TV shows signal a shift in her trajectory. Interviews, performances at prestigious events like the White House Correspondents Association's annual dinner, and glimpses into the not-so-glamorous life on the road provide a comprehensive view of the artist at this crucial juncture. Annie Clark, the person behind St. Vincent. Beyond the stage and the persona of St. Vincent, we delve into the personal side of Annie Clark. Our meeting for brunch at Angelica Kitchen paints a picture of a down-to-earth individual with a penchant for simplicity. From her approach to fashion, where she finds an outfit that works and sticks to it, to her love for guitars and a vast collection of effects pedals, we uncover the facets of Annie's life beyond the spotlight. The family influence. Music runs in Annie's family, with her uncle Tuck Andress making his mark as a guitarist with the Gap Band and forming a successful jazz duo, Tuck and Patty, with his wife. Annie's exposure to the vagabond spirit of musicians and the realization that music could be a viable career came during a transformative summer spent as a roadie tour manager with Tuck and Patty. The Berkeley Interlude and Artistic Resilience. Annie's brief stint at Berkeley College of Music, followed by a courageous move to New York to pursue music on her terms, becomes a pivotal chapter in her narrative. The challenges faced during this period, including financial setbacks and the questioning of her identity as an artist, underscore the resilience that would later define her career. Marry Me, a frenetic debut. The transition from Berkeley to becoming part of the polyphonic spree and, subsequently, the release of her debut album, Marry Me, represents a frenetic period in Annie's life. The album, recorded during her time on the road, captures the essence of her multifaceted talents as a musician credited with voices, guitars, bass, piano, and an array of other instruments. Nuances of success and the indie circuit. Within the intricate tapestry of indie music, St. Vincent, alias Annie Clark, navigates a unique trajectory of success. Unlike mainstream benchmarks, her ascent relies on the genuine adoration of a fan base cultivated one person at a time. The indie circuit, a realm of intimate venues and artistic freedom, becomes the crucible for St. Vincent's experimentation and evolution, where authenticity takes precedence over commercial pressures. Her live performances, marked by raw energy, forge a profound connection with the audience. In this nuanced landscape, Success is not just an outcome, but a manifestation of St. Vincent's unwavering commitment to the craft and the profound connections forged within the indie music realm. In the epilogue of this exploration, it becomes evident that St. Vincent's musical odyssey, also known as Annie Clark, transcends conventions and stands as a testament to authenticity and creative autonomy. Amidst the intricate labyrinth of the independent music scene, her ascent has been guided by the genuine loyalty of an audience that values the complexity of her art. The indie circuit, a realm where experimentation flourishes and artistic connections are forged with depth, has been the crucible of her evolution. More than a destination, success in this realm is the manifestation of an unwavering commitment to the craft and the enduring connections forged in the intimate world of independent music. In a continually shifting musical landscape, St. Vincent's journey resonates as a beacon, illuminating the path for artists and audiences to appreciate the rich diversity that is independent music. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.